When it comes to choosing the right engine setup, one of the biggest questions is, should you go for a turbocharged, supercharged, or naturally aspirated engine? Each type of engine has its own unique strengths and characteristics, which affect performance, fuel efficiency, and driving experience. Today, we'll dive into each engine type, look at the pros and cons, and help you decide which one might be the best choice for your driving style and needs. But before we dive into the list, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on our upcoming videos. Naturally aspirated engines. Let's start with the most traditional type, the naturally aspirated engine. This engine has been around since the beginning of the automotive industry and is known for its simplicity and reliability. A naturally aspirated engine relies on the natural air pressure around us to fill the engine cylinders. When the intake valve opens, air is drawn in, mixed with fuel, and then compressed and ignited to create power. This process is straightforward with fewer moving parts, meaning there's no forced induction from a turbocharger or supercharger. Pros of naturally aspirated engines. Instant response. Naturally aspirated engines often provide a more immediate throttle response. There's no lag as they don't rely on any form of forced induction that takes time to spool up. Simplicity and reliability. Fewer moving parts mean fewer things that can go wrong. Without the added complexity of a turbo or supercharger, naturally aspirated engines are often easier and cheaper to maintain. Linear power delivery. These engines tend to provide a more linear power curve, meaning power builds smoothly as the RPMs increase. This makes them great for high-performance applications, where predictable power delivery is key. Higher rev limits. Naturally aspirated engines can often reach higher RPMs, especially in performance cars like the Honda S2000 or Porsche 911 GT3, which are known for their high revving engines. Cons of naturally aspirated engines. Lower power output. One of the main downsides is that they typically produce less horsepower than their turbocharged or supercharged counterparts, especially at lower RPMs. Fuel efficiency. While it varies, naturally aspirated engines can sometimes be less fuel efficient than turbocharged engines because they need to be larger or rev higher to produce comparable power. Altitude sensitivity. Since naturally aspirated engines rely on atmospheric pressure, they can lose power at high altitudes where air pressure is lower. Best for drivers who want simplicity reliability, and a more traditional, linear driving experience without the sudden surge of power. If you enjoy high revving engines or prioritize easy maintenance, naturally aspirated could be your best bet. Number two, turbocharged engines. Turbocharged engines have become increasingly popular in recent years, especially as automakers work to meet stricter fuel efficiency standards. A turbocharger uses the engine's exhaust gases to spin a turbine, which then compresses the incoming air, allowing more air, and therefore more fuel, to enter the engine. This results in a significant boost in power without a significant increase in engine size. Pros of turbocharged engines, power boost. Turbochargers can provide a huge boost in power. By forcing more air into the engine, they can increase horsepower and torque significantly, even at lower RPMs. Fuel efficiency. Since turbocharged engines can generate more power with a smaller displacement, they often achieve better fuel efficiency than larger, naturally aspirated engines. Compact design. With turbocharging, manufacturers can use smaller engines to produce the same or even more power than larger, naturally aspirated engines. This is why you see many modern compact cars with powerful turbocharged engines. Cons of turbocharged engines. Turbo lag. Turbocharged engines can suffer from turbo lag, which is the delay between when you press the accelerator and when the turbo kicks in. While newer turbo systems have reduced lag, it's still noticeable to some drivers. Complexity and maintenance. Turbochargers add complexity to the engine, which can lead to higher maintenance costs. Turbocharged engines can also run hotter, which can lead to increased wear if not properly maintained. Reduced engine longevity. Some argue that turbocharged engines wear out faster than naturally aspirated engines because of the increased stress on engine components, especially if the engine is tuned for more power. Best for drivers looking for a mix of performance and fuel efficiency. Turbocharged engines are ideal for those who want quick acceleration and are willing to handle a bit of turbo lag. 
If you're someone who likes the thrill of a power boost and doesn't mind a bit more maintenance, turbo might be the way to go. Number three, supercharged engines. A supercharged engine works similarly to a turbocharger in that it forces more air into the engine, increasing power. However, instead of using exhaust gases, a supercharger is powered by the engine's crankshaft. This means that superchargers can deliver power almost instantaneously, making them popular in high-performance vehicles, where immediate response is crucial. Pros of supercharged engines, instant power delivery. Unlike turbocharged engines, which can suffer from lag, superchargers provide instant power. This makes them a favorite among muscle car enthusiasts who want immediate acceleration. Consistent power at low RPMs. Superchargers deliver power across the entire RPM range, which means you don't have to wait for high RPMs to feel the performance. Sound and feel. Superchargers create a distinct whine that many car enthusiasts love. The power delivery also has a more aggressive feel, which adds to the overall driving experience. Cons of supercharged engines, fuel efficiency. Superchargers are less fuel efficient because they are driven directly by the engine, adding extra load. While they boost performance, they can also lead to higher fuel consumption. Higher maintenance costs. Superchargers add another level of complexity and due to the extra stress they place on the engine, can increase maintenance needs and costs over time. Heat generation. Supercharged engines can generate a lot of heat, which means that many supercharged vehicles need additional cooling systems to prevent overheating. Best for drivers who crave instant power and responsiveness. Supercharged engines are popular in performance in muscle cars, where throttle response and immediate power delivery are prioritized. If you're a performance enthusiast and don't mind sacrificing fuel efficiency for power, a supercharger might be your ideal choice. Which engine setup is right for you? Now that we've explored the strengths and weaknesses of each engine type, the best choice ultimately depends on your personal driving needs and priorities. Here's a quick guide. If you want simplicity, reliability, and a traditional driving experience, go for a naturally aspirated engine. They're generally easier to maintain, deliver linear power, and have a high revving appeal that many purists love. If you're looking for a balance of power and fuel efficiency with some excitement, a turbocharged engine is a great choice. It offers excellent power and fuel efficiency, especially if you don't mind a bit of turbo lag. If you're after raw power and instant throttle response, superchargers provide immediate power at any RPM and are ideal for those who value performance over fuel savings. Choosing between a turbocharged, supercharged, or naturally aspirated engine can be tough because each has unique strengths and trade-offs. Naturally aspirated engines are straightforward and reliable. Turbochargers offer great power and fuel economy, and superchargers provide instant power and a thrilling driving experience. Understanding your driving style, maintenance preferences, and performance needs will help you make the right choice. Whichever setup you choose, each offers its own unique thrill behind the wheel.